Next question is from Kristen Corso. Any recommendations for runners in terms of adding strength training? Yeah, so if you're if you're I worked with a lot of endurance athletes towards the back half of my career. It was just I had a wellness facility in Los Gatos and, and I ended up training one person who was a runner who then ended up referring me other runners and and cyclists and, and triathletes. And if your goal is maximum performance in running, if your goal is to be a really good runner, which is there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, human body evolved uh, among other things to, to run really well. So if you have good technique, good skill, you run well, it feels good for you. Nothing wrong with doing it. How can you use strength training to benefit that? Don't make strength training the priority. Um, your priority is the running. Honest to God, no joke. For the most part, for most people that I trained who are endurance athletes, and that was their favorite thing to do, one day a week. Yeah. One day a week of resistance training was perfect. More than that, and I actually started to take away from their endurance uh, performance. If I started to train them twice a week with resistance training, they had to back off on their running or they have to back off on their cycling or whatever. So one day a week, resistance training, focus on compound lifts. You're not doing isolation movements. Do some mobility. Here's something that will benefit the hell out of you is learn how to prime your body properly. Mm -hmm. Prime your body based off of how your body moves. So learn how to do a self-assessment. Um, we, we're doing another uh, webinar, MAPS Prime webinar. It's free. That's happening, I believe, on the 30th, if I'm not mistaken, Doug. Is it the 30th? Correct. Yep. So you could go to mapsprimewebinar.com, sign up, and then you'll learn how to do a self-assessment. Once you figure out your own priming movement, which is about 10 to 15 minutes, for runners, I'd say 10 to 15 minutes, Prime your, you, I'm sure you warm up before you do a run anyway. Throw away your old warm-up, prime instead, then go run and watch your performance go through the roof. It's incredible how much more stable, how much more efficient you run. And the more efficient that you run, the more stamina that you have. You didn't actually increase your stamina. You just expended less energy because now you're moving better and you get better stamina. So that's what I would focus on with my clients. Well, this is very similar to the recommendation that I just talked about that I gave my brother-in-law, right? He's a uh, he's not a runner, he's a hardcore downhill mountain bike rider, which is, you know, he, he goes for rides for 3-4 hours yeah. at a time. He does this multiple times during the week on both days on the weekend. This is his priority. He he wants to be able to ride, drink beer and not get fat. Like that's his goal. Like that's really what his goal is. And I told him I want him to lift weights one day a week. That's it. One day a week, full body routine, just like you said, mostly compound lifts. Uh, if he feels ambitious and wants to get in a second day, I actually recommend a more mobility-focused day. Mm -hmm. yeah. So a one good hard lifting session with one good day of like really heavily focused mobility where you spend at least a half hour or more doing that. Uh, and then priming before you go on your bike ride or go for your run, uh, man, great, great position for yeah, somebody I, that cares more about yeah. running than they care about building a physique. And I'm going to speak generally because, of course, it depends on the individual. But generally speaking, this is what the workouts would look like. Three to four compound lifts. That's it. They would come see me, and we would do like, okay, we're going to do a squat, a barbell row, and an overhead press. Or we're very, do it. very yeah. maps anabolic. Yeah, actually. very, very. But I, I wouldn't even do lots of isolation movements. I'm not sitting there trying to build tons of. What I'm trying to do is build you really good general solid strength, right. foundational strength, That's like it. from large signals, and those are three of the best exercises to do that with. So yeah, I totally agree. It's just that one day, real specific, you know, to those lifts, and then the rest of it. I really like the emphasis on joint stability, joint strength, and function because then you're talking more about longevity while you're performing and, and you're increasing that ability. Yeah, and I think what one of the mistakes that endurance athletes will make is they try to mimic their sport with the weights. So somebody who's a runner will be like, okay, I run. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 100 reps of walking lunges. Oh, yeah. Or they do weighted vest runs on the treadmill yes. or grab dumbbells and run on a treadmill right. or do yeah. stuff like that. No, you're not going to – so you don't, you're not going to get a ton of benefit at that uh, yeah. from that. A lot you, more posterior work. Would use be, the weights well. for what they're good for, which is strength. So you know, don't try to use them for endurance. You're already doing your endurance training. Use them to build your strength. So it's like you know, my endurance athletes used to respond really well to like five to eight reps. Now, I would also be careful with the intensity. You start lifting to failure, you're going to mess up your, your runs and, your, and you know, what other sport you're doing or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I would keep them. I would actually stop about three reps short of failure for their lifts. Focus on those compound lifts. Here's a good general primer for, uh, for running, by the way. Windmill, 
just a standing windmill mm -hmm. uh, where you get in, create tension throughout the whole movement, and cool. actually go through with reps. Well, it's, Justin it's, breaks it's it down in Prime mm -hmm. Webinar. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so make sure you watch that. If you want to learn how to do it really yeah, well, go sign up. Go to, yeah, MAPS Prime Webinar. He actually teaches how to do that really, really well.